Hey folks, David Hubble here, and we finally reached the month of September. And you know what that means? A young man's fancy turns to thoughts of Melanchthon. That's right, picking and growing them. So today I want to share with you a recipe adapted by my good friend Dr. Lance Hill, my Melanchthon mentor. It's called Creme de Melanchthon Soup. So stay tuned. This cream-based recipe is similar in a lot of ways to ones you're probably already familiar with, cream of mushroom or cream of potato soup. And for this, Dr. Hill uses an ingredient that is found in many Middle Eastern, Indian, and Mexican dishes, cumin. And it's a great base for which to build upon soups of many different types. You can add to it things like shellfish, crab, and shrimp. It'll take it to a different level. Or maybe you want a, want a smoky flavor like you find in andouille or a sausage or another good southern smoked sausage. You can chop that up and add it to it too. So most of these ingredients you can find at most retail stores throughout the US. So you need to really give it a shot. What are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. The ingredients for this recipe are two Louisiana heirloom melitons or three medium chowdy squash. Peeled, de-seeded, and chopped into one inch chunks. Half onion chopped, one ounce fresh garlic minced, eight ounces heavy whipping cream, and a half a can of evaporated milk, one eighth teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of white pepper, half a teaspoon salt, and then you want to add maybe another half teaspoon at the end for taste, and a half stick of salted butter. Optionally, you may want to have a roux, which we'll show you how to make at the end, using two ounces of butter and two tablespoons of flour. When peeling your melanchthon, make sure you do it under cold running water because it can get a little sticky. Here you see I just simply got it cubed up and ready to go. And there we are prepped and ready to go with all of our ingredients measured out and chopped up. Our first step is to saute the onions and garlic on low heat with just a little bit of oil until they're brown. Then we'll add the cumin, oregano, white pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. Just simply stir it around on low heat. And you want to add your garlic after your onions because otherwise it'll just roast the garlic. Now distribute your seasonings on the browned onions and garlic. Don't forget the salt. And we're on to the next step. For step two, we're simply gonna add our melanchthon or chayote chunks and mix well. Now on to step three. We're going to add a half a can of evaporated milk and then cover the pan and simmer or steam on very low heat. And we'll check every five minutes until the chody is fork tender. One version of this recipe I saw had actually kind of the chody over a little steamer that was kind of partially in the uh, evaporated milk. I just chose to simmer it here on low in five minutes. And in my case, I think it took close to about 20 minutes before it really got to where it was ready. This is about 15 minutes in. And shortly after, you'll see when I get to 20. Uh, here we are, closer to 20 minutes. And you can see the evaporated milk is cooked down a bit and how much more tender the melanchthon chunks are. So once our melanchthon is tender, we're going to spoon all the vegetables into a blender and pour the remainder of the milk into that blender as well. And then to that we'll add 8 ounces of whipping cream and we're going to pulse until blended. And be careful, that's going to be very hot. Now also at this point, you may want to add a little something. In my case, I decided to add 
a couple of dashes of Tabasco, which you'll see at the end here. But I also saw one of the people who originally did this maybe added a, a whole jalapeno slice. For this next step, we're going to prepare a pan by melting four ounces of butter into it. And then shortly thereafter, we're going to add our pureed contents back. For step six, we're going to take the pureed mixture and strain it into the pan and cook on low heat, stirring so it does not stick. And then heat it until bubbly. Now, to be honest with you, when I tried straining it, it really didn't seem to make much difference in this particular case. So I'd strained about half of it and then I just put the rest of the contents in it. It was still pretty smooth already. So you can be the judge on how you wanna prepare it at that point. The next step is to prepare a light roux with butter and flour. This is what's typically known as a blonde roux. It's just simply mix together the melted contents and just stir it till it bubbles. You don't want it to be brown at all. Simply add this roux to the heated mixture and then adjust your seasonings for salt and other spices. Now comes my most favorite part, serve and enjoy. Serve in bowls with maybe some croutons or French bread on the side. So there you go, folks, a delicious and hearty cream-based soup. Perfect for serving your loved ones during the fall months ahead, or maybe you want to sneak it in a thermos and take it to your favorite tailgating venue. Either way, everyone's a winner. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, please subscribe to this channel. Also, check us out on Meliton.org on the internet or our Facebook page, Meliton.org, M-I-R-L-I-T-O-N.org. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.